Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. In this video, we're going to break down the new Contour GPS camera. Now, it's an HD video camera that's bike mountable. I have it here in my right hand. It's part of the new Contour family. There are three cameras. We have a video on all of them, so be sure to, be sure to watch them and kind of can compare and contrast to find out the best camera for you. The GPS falls in the middle of the range. The Contour Roam is the entry level, and the Contour Plus is the big brother that does some different things. But really, this gives you a great mix of features and some upgraded functionality for a digital camera that's going to require that's going to record multiple formats but really it will do full HD video it has a rechargeable battery and it's built to be rugged enough to be mounted to your bike to give you a lot of great use out of it now the Contour GPS, as the name denotes is the first camera in the range the plus does this as well that it actually has a GPS built in and it's going to record location elevation and speed data to the video that you're recording which is great it also, I'm going to pull the lens cap off, and I have in front of me here everything that's included in the pack. It's also, also, also going to include a SD, a micro SD card of 2 gigabyte that you can upgrade from that if you want more memory. And it also has a removable, rechargeable lithium ion battery that's included as well. I'll also note that the Contour GPS is Bluetooth enabled. You can get the, uh, the Connect View card that goes into this guy and allows you to use your Android Android or iPhone operating system as a viewfinder and to, to monkey with some of the settings. But here's your rechargeable lithium ion battery and the way that you would use this guy is you're going, you're going to connect it to your computer. And I'm going to get to some of the usage in a second. The thing you really need to know is it will do, the Contour GPS will do 1080p, it'll do 960 which they call tall HD, and then it'll also do 720. The other nice part is it will do 720 in 60 frames per second as well which can be slowed down and use it as slow-mo footage which the Roam does not do. The other thing that's unique about the Contour GPS is that this is the only version that comes with the goggle mount system. So you're going to have this element that connects to the side of the camera. I'm going to show you how it works here really quickly. Your goggle strap would go through here. Your camera rail, if, you, if I was going to mount this on the right side, I would use this connector to attach it to the camera. You see it slides on and there's a strong detent so it's not going to pop off. And then what I would do is I'd run my strap of my goggle through there and pop it on and now I have a goggle mount. You can see there's a little bit of play there. When the strap runs in between the camera mount and the goggle mount, it's actually going to act as a shock absorber and you're not going to get that play. So operation of the camera. Out of the box you have a camera that's got everything you need ready to run. If you buy the, the $200 option which is that Contour Roam, you're going to have to buy a card. But on the GPS as well as the Plus, there's a 2 gigabyte micro SD card included. And what you're going to do is you're going to pop it out of the box. You're going to plug the card in here in the back. As you can see, I have my card which goes right in there. There's my micro SD card. I already showed you the battery. And then if you'll notice as well, we have the connector. The way that you charge, control, change the settings on this guy is through this USB. It's a micro USB connector like you'd be used to seeing with your digital camera. And then you're also going to be able to stick that into your computer or you can buy a wall mount adapter as well. And that's how you're going to charge. So once you install that, and I will note this guy's not waterproof. Water resistant, but not waterproof. They do sell a waterproof mount that you can buy separately. But what you have here now is you're ready to go. The card's in, there's battery there. And to use it, and I'm not going to talk about mounting to your bike just yet, so let me pull this guy off. But just on usage, what you're going to do is this, is, this one has a power button. So the, the Roam, which is the entry level model at $200, doesn't have a power button. It's either on and off. And you're going to see this guy power up. So it powers up. Oh, turn it on here really quickly. And you're going to see here's my battery indicator, here's my memory indicator. And then on the front, you're going to see this guy flashing, and that's going to be my GPS indicator. So flashing means it's got a good signal, and then flashing also means it's ready to record. You're also going to notice, and I'm pointing them right at the camera there, you can see the lasers. Oh, they just shut off. I'm going to turn them on one more time. They should pop right on. You're going to see that laser come up. That, there's two lasers that fire out of the front of this guy. I'm going to shoot them on the table here. I guess they're not big enough to really see. But what that allows you to do is horizontally align what your orientation is for the camera. The screen on this is a little bit different of the lens. The Roam is 170 degrees, it's a bit of a fisheye. So is the Plus. The GPS is going to be 135 degrees, and it's a little bit less of a fisheye than those two. And you're going to have the ability, depending on how you mount it, you can see here on the top, I'm rotating this dot. I'm actually rotating the lens. So if I mount this flat on my bike, I'm going to want that white dot to be up. If I mount it on the side of my bike, I'm going to want that white dot to be up, and it comes defaultly in that position. Now as far as usage, if I turn it on here, push the power button on the back, to start recording, 
You see, all I did was slide this forward. So even with a glove on, it's very easy to operate. That is my big gripe with a lot of the other cameras that are on the market. If they don't have an easy way for you to turn it on and off, when you're using your, when you're riding, actually riding, and, and can reach it with your glove and quickly know if it's on or off, that's a hard thing. That's gonna distract you, it's gonna take your eyes off the road, you're gonna be looking for that red light, and that's just gonna be a problem. So this guy solves that problem, and you'll notice too that I can see that I have my red flasher down here on the bottom, that means that I'm recording as well. So I'm recording, I'm recording in whatever mode that I set it up to record the resolution, and I'm also pulling in that GPS data. So let's talk a little bit about the modes here. And again, to turn it off, all I have to do is hold this button in for a few seconds, it's going to turn everything off, and then uh, as well, the way that these buttons flash, and it's all detailed in the manual, is going to tell you how much memory you have left, how much battery you have left, and if you're recording or not. So again, they, they, they blink or go into different colors to allow you to know. And this button right here is just going to be the lock for the back of the case. But I want to show you one more feature here. On the front, we have a microphone. It's right there. You can see that little hole. That's going to pick up all of your sound data. And then here on the back, I also want to notice that we have this one and this two, if you can see that. The one and the two, when you go into the software, so what you're going to do is connect to your computer when you first get it, download the software from Contour, which allows you to quickly organize things, but also set the settings of the camera. What you can do there is you can set up, you basically map to one and two what you want the different resolutions to be. So you could set one up to be full 1080p HD. You could set the two setting to be 720 in slow motion. There are five different settings that are different frame rates and different resolutions. The other nice part here is there's also a time-lapse photography focus or setting, so it's a five megapixel camera. And what you can do is you could set it every one second, every five seconds, every 30 seconds. So what you could do is if you don't want to take video, you could actually m map to button number two or setting number two that you wanted to be some form of time lapse. So you could quickly switch to uh, photo mode, and then when you're recording, it's going to take those photos sequentially. If we look down in front of me, you know, you saw the lens cap, I showed you the goggle mount. There's also a sticky flush mount, and you'll notice that I have my, uh, my leash here that's hanging. But these flush mounts, there's, it comes with two of them. You're going to peel the adhesive backing off, and you'll be able to mount to the side of your bike, to the top of the bike, and there's a locking mechanism. So what I'm going to show you here is I'll slide this guy in. You're going to slide it down this camera rail on the side. Slide it till it hits the detent, which means it's not going to go anywhere. And then what you do is, there's, if you see on the side here, I'm, I'm pressing and depressing a locking mechanism. I'm going to have the ability when I'm unlocked, I'm locked right there, I should be able to rotate this guy around. So let's see here. Where's my unlock? There's my unlock. So I'm rotating, rotating. I have strong detents in there. And when I come to the right spot that I know I want to lock in on, I'm going to lock it and it's not going to go anywhere. You know, you're going to want to set, if you're using this on your bike or on your helmet, you set that leash just like a snowboard leash. So if for some reason you wreck, it comes loose, you're going to be able to not have this guy fly away. You know, you're looking at a $300 piece of equipment here and you want to make sure it doesn't get away on you. So I can pull that guy out now. I also want to note that, you know, while I like the adhesive mounts, I think they work well. And the fact that this comes with two allows you to do a side mount as well as a top mount on your bike, depending on how you like to do that. I want to note, pull this guy off, it's a tough detent there, that we also have a suction cup mount. It's a little bit more expensive, you're going to buy it, we sell it on RevZilla.com, but what you have here now is a multi-arm, it's kind of a ram ball mount system that this guy, and I have the leash on, you have to take the leash off to slide it in, but it's going to slide right on there and now you really have the ability to go on your tank, on your windshield, on the side of your bike, and really micro adjust how you want to set this up, and then from a suction standpoint, press that guy, suction down, and it's, it's not going anywhere. Pull that guy up and be done with it. The other piece I didn't talk about is the Connect View. I briefly glanced over it. It allows you to use your camera, or use your phone, an Android or a Bluetooth phone, I'm sorry, an Android, an iPhone, to really use it as the settings on the fly, so it takes you having to connect to your computer out of the mix to set those settings. It's also going to allow you to use, instead of just using the lasers, You'll be able to stream the video right to your phone and make sure you have it perfectly set up for what you want it to look at. And that's going to connect in the back. It only works with the Contour GPS and the Contour Plus. It's actually included with the Contour Plus. It's a $40 add-on with the GPS. And the last thing I didn't talk about is going to be the flex strap mount, which again allows you to go handlebar, go crash bars, any, any bar or trellis style piece of your bike that you can then wrap this guy around. It goes up to 20 millimeter and you can, you can have a little bit more flexibility in your mounting options. So remember, you're getting full HD. It'll do slow-mo in 720. It's got up to two and a half hours of battery life. You can go up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. It's got enough of the ability to turn it on and off and know where you are, even when you're using a glove or when it's mounted to your goggles. The GPS, 
records GPS data just like the Plus does. It is able to be linked with your Bluetooth or with, with, your, with your phone, and then it's the only one that comes with that goggle mount, and you're going to connect your computer with the uh, USB cable. We want to know what you think of the Contour GPS camera. Leave us feedback on YouTube, on Facebook, like it or dislike it. Let us know if you've been using it, what your experience with it is. It takes, decent, it takes really rock solid photography for a small unit like this. It weighs 5.2 ounces, and you're just going to connect it right to your bike. It's a rock solid piece. If you have any questions about it, shoot us a line. See us at RevZilla.com. 877-792-9455. As always, it's over 39 bucks. We'll ship for free. We'll exchange for free. If you don't like it, send it back in brand new condition with all the accessories, and we'll give you 100% back to your card with no restock fee. And as always, you can earn Team Zilla Cash to be applied to your next order. I hope this breakdown and usage instructions on the Contour GPS camera gives you some sense of the ease of use as well as everything you're going to be getting when you make an investment into this digital camera realm. They're becoming they're becoming less expensive and they're becoming more functional. We're excited where this whole segment of the market is going and we think that there's, you know, depending on your type of riding, there's, there's going to be a great solution out there for you. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Find the Contour GPS on RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.